I'm Dr. Leonardo. Thanks for joining me. Today I want to talk to you about one of the latest innovations in hair regrowth, and that is the Vampire Hair Growth Procedure. Before we talk about that, it's important to understand why and how hair grows. Hair, of course, develops from hair follicles. Hair follicles are in three different stages at any time. There's a period of growth, adagen. There's a period of regression, that's catagen. And there's a period of rest, that's telogen. Now, it's unsynchronized, meaning that at any given point, uh, your scalp is in different stages. About 90% of the time, or 90% of the hair follicles, are going to be in antigen. They're growing. Now, there's normal hair loss. We lose about 50 to 100 a day. And as such, we replace that with 50 to 100 more. Now, with abnormal hair loss, we're losing hair in all the different phases antigen, catagen, and telogen. And sometimes this is affected by many factors. Sometimes it's heredity, sometimes it's the medications that we're taking at the time, or whatever reason. So it's a little bit tough to regrow hair. But with the vampire hair regrowth procedure, we're utilizing the body's own ability to heal itself. We are stimulating the body with platelets. Now, platelets are something that I've used commonly in my chronic pain management practice. With PRP, or platelet-rich plasma therapy, we withdraw blood from the patient. We centrifuge it, super-concentrating the platelets, growth factors, and other chemical markers. We harvest those components, and we inject them into various tissue that need repair. And that's exactly what it does. The chemical markers draw stem cells to the area and they differentiate into whatever structure is needed. For example, muscle, ligaments, and tendons. The same thing can be done for hair regrowth. There's actually stem cells within the hair follicle unit. And the growth factors and chemical markers are going to help stimulate those stem cells and it's going to draw additional stem cells to the area to promote hair regrowth. Now the way the procedure works, you really need an assessment first of all because this doesn't work for everybody. I need to examine your hair follicles. If they're salvageable then this is probably going to work very well. However, if your hair follicles are fibrosed then um, it's pretty much scar tissue and we're not going to be able to regrow hair. So after an assessment and assuming everything is okay, what we'll do is apply a topical local anesthetic to the scalp and let that sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. During that time, we withdraw the blood, we spin it out, process it, and by the time we're ready, the local anesthetic should have you relatively comfortable. We cannot achieve complete total surgical numbness but uh, you will be comfortable for this procedure. So we take the PRP and we inject it all throughout the scalp in the areas that concern you. And then afterwards we massage that in to allow for adequate, adequate spread. And then we wait and see. Some patients have reported sprouting up new hair within a matter of a couple weeks. Others it could take the entire length of time, about five months, before getting fuller, thicker hair. And at times, we're going to have to repeat the treatment, maybe up to three times. Everyone is different. There's no guarantee. If this is something that interests you and you're in the greater Toronto area, please contact me. The best way to reach me is through email, leonardomedicine at gmail.com. Again, that is leonardomedicine at gmail.com. I'd be happy to help you, and thanks for tuning in.